Hi, Chelsea. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? It's so good to see you here today. Oh, thank you. It's good to see you too. Oh, thank you. So this is our second session. And on the very first session, we kind of chatted about why you were here mm -hmm. and, and the, the referral that you were given yeah. uh, from your physician. Uh, you talked about maybe having some concerns about anxiety. Yes. Yeah. And so we did complete the the GAD seven. We already talked about that for our, which is the generalized anxiety disorder test, mm -hmm. just to kind of see where you were on that scale. Yeah. And you were scoring between like a nine and a ten, so mm -hmm. moderate. I mean, uh, mild to moderate. Mm -hmm. So that maybe we could just maybe follow up about the things sure. we checked about last week mm -hmm. and how you're doing and uh, the plan that you kind of put in place for yourself. Yeah. And what you're found and feeling today. Yeah. So how are things going? How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, I still am having, you know, some anxiety, but sure. I'm trying to still do some of the steps that we had talked about, about some of the things that we can progress with diminishing that. So okay. um, I, you know, cut down on my caffeine, which Beautiful. It's awesome. a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I love having my coffee, uh, but I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Um, the first few days were a little hard just to get used to it, just out of mm -hmm. habit, but uh, I'm starting to feel better. So that oh, that's so that. good. Yeah. I know that can be really challenging. It is. Caffeine yeah. can be a huge one. Yes. But you did kind of talk about that. You maybe felt like that was maybe contributing to some of the anxiety too. Yeah. So you're feeling the benefits, a little bit of that, of maybe yeah. cutting back on that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm not feeling as shaky in the morning, awesome. which is really good. Mm -hmm. um, I usually don't eat in the morning, which I know I should, but that has been mm -hmm. hard. Just been having a crazy schedule. And then, um, I feel, you know, like, I mean, I'm not as dehydrated. I feel like I'm not okay. just drinking coffee all mm -hmm. day long. Um, and then I'm also, you know, feeling like I'm not crashing at night as mm -hmm. well. So that's been really good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yes. that's, that's wonderful. That's really good. Yeah. Another goal that we kind of chatted about a little bit was, um, you talked about some of the other things that you were thinking might help with your anxiety. And one of them was uh, journaling. Yes. Yes. So what is that looking like for you right now? All right, let me stop this really quick. So we kind of chatted about that. Um, another point that you kind of identified that you would like to maybe uh, undertake is journaling. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what's that been looking like for you? How's that been going? Yeah, journaling um, has been pretty good. I did it for a few nights. Uh, it was kind of hard because at night, it's just kind of hard with my kids and everything. Yeah. So I usually try to wait till they go to bed, but then I'm like really tired and I forget. <laughs> um, so that's been a little challenging, but when I have been doing it for a few days, it really, it was nice to have my own time. So you, you've kind of recognized the benefits of journaling and, yes. and that's been helpful for you. Yes. Um, so looking at this, have you have maybe thought about another part of your day that you might be able to fit that in or what does that look like for you to still be it sounds like this is important and it's working well for you yeah so um how do you feel like it would work for you to still fit this in your life yeah um and um and, and still be able to do it but maybe yeah yeah um you know maybe in the morning sure in bed, sure I change the time I do it or mm -hmm. um Mornings are hard because my kids wake up early, but I could always try to wake up earlier. Do you feel like that's something that you could maybe accomplish? Do you feel? I think so. Yeah, it would like, it's like coffee it takes getting used to. Sure. But uh, either that or when they're, you know, they still take naps. So maybe when they're taking their nap. Okay. Something like that. So if I can ask you this on a scale from like one to 10, um, how reasonable do you think it is that you could fit journaling in your day? on um, a daily basis like probably a seven okay yeah okay okay so great I think as probably a seven I feel like I could do you know I instead of scrolling on my phone I could <laughs> do my journal you know yeah wake up to that or doing it while my kids are napping oh wow okay that yeah. sounds amazing that sounds really really good yeah. so it sounds as if you've already been able to identify uh even in this week 
yeah, some things that are already maybe you feel like are making some life changes for you yeah. and making some difference for you, like yeah. reducing the caffeine and yes. uh, kind of taking the journaling on. And yeah, so that's been helpful. And wonderful. I've been trying to get outside more and um, walk my dog and do some things. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's been helping. So it sounds like you've got some good things in place that are maybe yeah. working for you as yeah. far as like, um, do you, how do you, successful do you feel like you're going to be with cutting down on your caffeine? Is that something you feel like you can, that's working and that you'll be able to continue to do? Yeah, I can get it. Now that's becoming more of a daily habit. I think I'll be definitely able to do that. Wonderful. Yeah. And, um, you got a good plan as far as your journaling goes. Maybe yes. we'll see what that looks like for you to kind of change the time of day you do that. Or yes, and then getting outside more. Yes. You know the weather is beautiful, so that's going to be hopefully a really positive thing for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to think about what we're going to chat about next week. If you're still mm -hmm. willing to meet next week, I mean, if that works for you, yeah, that we can great. do that, and we'll kind of uh, look to see what other things we can maybe chat about. So okay. thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks. Okay.